Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Bashem Rakakwadash. My name is Yakabu from Plain Tubes Camp of Philly. Now, uh, the scriptures say that there should be wars and rumors of wars. All right. So, what's going on in Ukraine is a full scale war. They're destroying military installations and infrastructure of the uh, Ukrainian government that's being backed up by. NATO, which are, uh, you know, America and a different uh, NATO powers. All right. So the Russians have troops coming from Russia and Belarus. All right. So this is, uh, February 24th, which is today. Russian, Russia invades Ukraine, launches attacks, civilians evacuate. All right. So that's where they're attacking all these bases. They were just over here in the east, and then I believe they just they started hitting strategic locations in Ukraine so this is a full scale war alright it's another map here from Fox where Russians attack attacks have been reported alright so just have one scripture that's it it says Luke 21 and 9 but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions which we hear about the war going on in Ukraine right now. All right. So that's an actual full scale war. Be not terrified for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. All right. So this is not the end. All right. So it was written that there were going to be wars. All right. And this, and this is not the first war. All right. America's been at war for a long time. All right. And then NATO. They've been warring against the uh, nations in the East, in the middle, the so-called Middle East, all right, under various different names. You know, sometimes they don't use the word NATO, but they it's an allied attack. They use their resources and intelligence together to fight. All right. Then said uh, Luke twenty one ten. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. All right. So this war going on right now was prophesied to happen just like the previous wars also but this one is a little hotter because the russians are they're full-blooded they're they're full uh purebred edomites just like the americans are just like the, those british and russians and frenchmen are a purebred edomites the russians all right so this is going to be a real modern warfare not the petty shit they were doing before with the uh let's see this sand uh sand ninjas all right this is full modern warfare you're going to get all right go here the bbc uh i haven't watched this whole thing yet so i'll let this play and i'll mute the mic until early this morning some here in kiev doubted that he would do it not anymore the West warned Vladimir Putin was about to attack. He said he had no such plans. That fiction now utterly exposed. Explosions right across this vast country. In Ivano Frankivsk, in the far southwest, a missile struck an airport. Unverified images from Ukraine's northern and southern borders seem to show columns of Russian armor entering from Belarus and Crimea. Within hours, Russian tanks were reported to be on the streets of Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. Whatever Russia says, this attack will not be surgical. To the east of Kharkiv, emergency workers battle to control fires in residential buildings hit by rockets. The number of civilian casualties is rising. At Mariupol in the south, another airport on fire. Now I am hearing they do have, uh, I guess, uh, either Russians or Russian supporters that are on the ground too that are uh, fighting also. So some of these attacks might be coming from the people that were already there. And not from you know directly missiles and like drone attacks, but all that's all that's in play. This is this is modern warfare. All right, this ain't uh, you know Libya, uh, Syria. Even though Syria was you no know, under protection of the Russian air defenses, the um, surface to air missile system that the Syrians got. But this is full scale modern warfare. 
They already got helicopters, jets, drones, everything. This country's civilian infrastructure is being heavily struck. There are no more flights in or out. A glance at the map shows a country under attack from... East to west. I believe, I believe this is how you say Kiev in, um, in Russian or some kind of transliteration. I think that's Kiev. Let's see. Yeah, that's how you uh, spell Kiev. I guess in that transliteration or that translation. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, four, eight, and it's probably more. All right, this is full scale modern warfare. The South. Earlier, a snarl. Well, I'm sure they can do more, but this this is the start of it. Russian leader said this was all in self-defense and warned Ukrainians to lay down their arms. We will strive for the demilitarization and denazification of Ukraine. Russia cannot feel safe, develop and exist with a constant threat emanating from the territory of modern Ukraine. In Kiev, Ukraine's embattled president, who must now fear for his job, appealed to the world. Putin started a war against Ukraine, against the whole democratic world. He wants to destroy my country. He wants to destroy our country, everything we have been building, what we live for. So far, all the signs are that this attack is working out exactly the way Western leaders have been warning for weeks. The country is being attacked from all directions, and the fear now has to be that some of those Russian troops are heading here to the capital. Some people aren't waiting to find out what happens next. The roads out of Kiev jammed with traffic, most of it heading west. Most of it heading west. Mike was on mute. Uh, it's locking. It says, uh, But when you shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. All right, so, yeah, this is a you know, full scale war. All right. This is anything. This is where, this is pretty much, I'm seeing this map repeated over and over on the internet. Uh, you know, uh, it could be could be false, you know, because there's you no know, fog fog of war and all that. Uh, it, there, are, I heard there were people in that were already loyal to the Russians, you know, on the ground and fighting. So let's see what NATO do, you know. But there's um there's always been wars, you know. Just just ha happens to be you no know, a little hotter because you know the Russians are directly involved against uh, someone that NATO was trying to. Where the beast was trying to um, ally themselves with, at least you know, to put you know, as a proxy against Russia, against the bear. All right, so I'll leave that there. Hope you edify it. Shalom.